Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. I am excited to announce a new series, 10 Minute Jackpot. This is the first episode. Uh, in this video series, we're going to be finding an Amazon FBA product idea in 10 minutes. That's it, that's all we have. We're setting a timer, you're gonna watch me go through it. If I were you, I would be excited. Let's get into it, uh, I will see you in there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 10 Minute Jackpot. <laughs> All right, so we're here. Black Box by Helium 10. This is what I'm gonna be challenging myself to find a product with. I find tons of product with this. I find tons of product with this. I have found tons of products with this tool, so I'm confident in my ability to navigate this quickly. We have a 10 minute timer started here, and we are gonna go now, 10 minute jack spot starting. Boom. Go, okay, so did it start? Yeah, it did, all right, we lost two seconds already. Keywords is what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be coming in here and I'm gonna be going minimum search volume at least a thousand, I need a thousand. You know what, I'm gonna go two because I wanna find a good product that has plenty of demand. Monthly revenue, don't show me anything less than 10. Uh, we're gonna go 10,000, I don't wanna say anything more than 50, it's too competitive. Price, we're gonna be good at going, at, you know, I don't wanna sell less than 30. Uh, we're gonna be going review, count kind of maximum of 400. Uh, and of, uh, categories, I'm gonna be going arts, craft, and sewing. I'm gonna be kind of blowing through this section of setting up the specific categories and only gonna be really selecting things that I like. So we're gonna just end there, just four categories. Uh, we're gonna hit search. I wanna get a lot of time to actually look at the ideas, go through them, make sure that I have time to do that. So black chandelier, it's too complicated. There's too much involved, there's no risk of it falling, blah, blah, blah. Um, shower bases and pans, okay, okay, okay. Um, we're actually doing really good. In under a minute, we're already looking, so I think that's pretty impressive. Um, Hunter fan light, right? So this is where we're really gonna have to kind of blow through this stuff. I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time just actually looking pretty quickly. If you can't follow along, it's probably just because your skill level isn't high enough yet. Don't get too mad at yourself. Um, vinyl flooring, arched wall, mirror, some, some of those are okay. So floating shelf brackets, that one's pretty good. I have heard of that before, we're gonna open that up. Uh, we're gonna go through here, okay, number three. Take a look, take a look. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So when I'm doing this, really all that I'm looking out for um, so I'm kind of looking for something that it's gonna be easy for me to stand out in. So I'm thinking of things where maybe it could be monotonous results where they're all kind of similar to each other. Um, daybed with storage, right? That's an expensive, oh, we forgot to set a top line price. Max the price out at like $70. I was wondering why some of those were just too big. Uh, it was like $500 product. I, don't, I probably don't wanna find a, a product that's $500. So go through here and we will change that one thing. We're making adjustments on the fly. I actually think I could calm down a little bit, right? I came in a little hot. Way too hot. Okay, we're gonna look through here. We're gonna get this done. So, wood chain link decor. That could be great. Wall sconce set of two. A faux cowhide rug. Hey, you know what? Everyone kind of has those things. Well, that's really overgeneralizing. I've potentially seen maybe one in my entire life. So, um, but I know what it means by that. <laughs> Look through here, floating shelves, hardware. I'm all about that hardware. Show me some more floating shelf stuff. Um, that's a space that I sell in, honestly. I'm okay, I'm okay with saying that. Um, you know, I used to have a, I did a whole case study for a whole year about selling a shelf, um, which I've since stopped and started a new brand, but not too far off what I'm doing now in the kind of like decor space. So let's look through here. Uh, we're on page four, I think now. Cow print, so again, I'm really looking for things that aren't subjective. We have about six minutes, six and a half minutes left. Um, I, I wanna see things that have a utility, generally hardware, I like that for that reason. Uh, the, the cow hide thing, it's more design based, so you have to have a good eye for things like that. Uh, but if you find it hard to differentiate based on looks and you just find it really confusing, um, you probably don't have a super good eye for design. And that's like, I'm not reading you. I'm not like trying to make fun of you. I sometimes don't either. It's just that that's a hard space. It's really subjective. Anything that has to do with design, it's usually a hard product to sell. Utility is much easier because we say, hey, the product needs to achieve this task, it needs to perform this 
thing. Um, well, then we could, you know, build a better mousetrap, as Kevin O'Leary would say. Right? We could make that thing do what it's supposed to more efficiently, so to say. So we're running up on halfway through here. I do have three ideas open, but my goal is not just three ideas. I want to find something that I would actually sell in 10 minutes. So we, we've opened a couple. If it clock ticks down to 10 minutes, we'll go take a look through there. There's some backups at least. Decorative books for home decor. I, I like this one actually. We're going to view that one on Amazon. I'm just opening them in a new tab, looking through here, and we could actually even probably start going and looking now. Okay, really quick, I'm gonna go back to page six. You see this at the bottom here, walnut wood. It's so simple that it could be amazing because I just feel like I'll, there's probably not 50 results of walnut wood. There's probably like a couple with really bad images. That's just something that I could just like just laser in on through the screen. I've never even seen that before, but I just feel like, hey, how much like bulk wood is there gonna be, right? Like was Home Depot on there like selling a ton? No, it's probably not really good results for that. So when you, when you see markets like that, like I was saying, it's easy to stand out because all you have to do is provide what the customer is looking for. Um, so let's come through here, chain link decor. That popped up again, that one could be, um, that one could be a potential one we could look at too. Floating shelves market, wavy mirror, wavy mirror. I think I've heard of that before. I don't remember where. Maybe I saw it on a, doing some product research. So chimney sweep kit. Oh, we're, we're just crushing it right now. I probably wouldn't recommend chimney sweeping by yourself. It seems like something you should just hire like a chimney sweep to. Like, are we really gonna unemploy chimney sweeps around the nation? Um, with DIY projects, probably not, but we'll take a look. And then tiered trade decor, there's lots of things, right? I've gone through 10 pages and got four minutes left. We're doing pretty good, I think. And we're filling this thing up. Um, like I said, so many of those aren't gonna be great. Tile tools for installation, come on, that sounds great. Cup rinser for sink, probably not too good. It sounds too technical. If it's cup rinser, you attach it or well, now I'm curious. Well, wow, that was weird. I feel like I had to sneeze, burp, laugh, cry, and um, yell at the same time. So let's see, undermount drawer slides, hexagon floating shelves, and got left. The clock is up here, guys, if you're curious. 316 left. Hexagon shelf again. We're at page 10. I'm not gonna have time to revise this and keep looking. Um, we might have to, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna call an audible here and say I have to pick something by 10 minutes. So I don't get to just like have like 100 ideas. I have to say it's one of those. So I'm gonna look through this page and we're done. So let's start going through here. I need to have a definitive answer in the next two minutes and 45 seconds. So now I'm gonna have to start getting a little crazy again. So this is floating shelf brackets. Um, there's a lot of these like uh, rod type ones and then there's these. Well, the cool thing about this market is if you have a new kind of bracket, then that could work for you. Let's get a quick look at proof of, no, get out of here, Keepa. Uh, let's get a quick look at proof of concept, X-ray, open it up. Let's see, 46 reviews doing 3,000. Lots of high reviews. Generally, the first thing that I'm looking for, I just wanna see that there's someone with lower reviews succeeding. It just shows that this market is willing to take a chance on someone new. Um, aluminum floating shelf bracket system, 300 load. This could be interesting. So heavy, heavy duty aluminum floating, floating shelf bracket system. That could be a route that we go down. So that might be something where I even change it a little bit. It's not just floating shelf brackets. It's like a heavy duty floating shelf bracket. So let's take a look at the next one. Um, cowhide rug, let's take a look at these. Um, how many are there? First thing I wanted to see is how many relevant results there are. Looks like there's a full page of these things. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm not gonna waste too much time on that. I wanna get through everything at least once. This is floating shelves hardware. Same thing as the first one, different keyword. Um, so the books, okay, I'm familiar with these. I've seen these before. These could be really good if you customize a new book. Um, Walnut wood, so I was talking a lot of, um, a lot of game about this one, <laughs> saying there's not gonna be any bulk walnut wood, which really, as you start getting down, there's really not, it's like things made out of walnut. So there's like a couple rows. Let me look at proof of concept again, one minute left. Um, X-ray, see how well this is selling. Tons of sales, thousands of dollars, I'm in. Oh God, yeah, walnut. So they're just selling bulk hardwoods. 
um, let's see, just walnut planks, 10 pack. Those aren't even large. Those are 16 inch pieces, $16,000 per month, 5,000 people looking for this. This might be the, look at this listing, $16,000 per month, this listing. Oh my God, this is a bad listing. It's just like some carpenter used his freaking Motorola um, and took a picture of this and no copyright, not even prime, right? Oh, that's it. That's probably the one we're going to take third last 30 seconds to try and find something so wavy mirror uh, let's see there's a couple of them just looking through again i'm just looking through trying to see if those are relevant can we see the chimney sweep kit i would be ashamed if we didn't get to this one um lots of people with lots of reviews there um, tile tools i thought this one might be good too man there's just so many things uh leveling system this looks like it'd be really good too all right two seconds uh walnut wood Jackpot. Right, so let me break down why really quick before we leave. 10 minute jackpot. This is like a sleeper product that could make you six figures per year, like hundreds of thousands of dollars, like $16,000 per month times 12. I mean, you're at $200,000, right? And let, just look at this listing, please. It's just so bad, right? And like, just this, like cattle rancher just like ripping through the woods on a thing of logs. It doesn't even make sense. This is just horrible, horrible, horrible walnut. They have a ton of options, which is good. Probably hard to do that. Other pros to this, right? Almost no competition, tons of search volume, um, really high proof of concept in the form that there's bad listings doing really well because there's not a ton of options, right? Um, so when I come through here, one of the biggest things I'm thinking about is domestic sourcing, right? You don't order wood from China. You order wood lumber. It's like a U.S. thing. It's like our thing. We do lumber. That's like you get lumber from the U.S. It's just like we're one of the biggest exporters of lumber in the world. Um, I live in Washington. I can't drive down the street without seeing, you know, some beautiful deforestation somewhere. So it's like you could definitely get your hands on some walnut out here. Um, this is cool. I, I like this market actually. It's outside of the box too, right? Like here's the box, it's over here. It's not just like this mainstream, like, oh, garlic press, or like a eh, thing, private label toy. It's like, it's so simple that it's beautiful. And now would I sell this? Maybe I'd have to go look much farther into the market, like what other people are, you know, doing it. Can I find a domestic supplier for it? There's definitely some questions here. But for 10 minutes, first 10 minute jackpot, I'm really satisfied with what we came across, raw walnut wood. Um, I think this could be a good product. I think, like I said, you could do it locally. It could be great. The branding too, we know who's buying raw lumber. Like I'm, I could probably say right now without upsetting anyone, it's probably 85, 90% uh, male audience in like their mid 40s. All right, it's like probably who's buying walnut wood. So. We know how to market to them, right? Like I know what the branding would be and what the, the, the listing would look like, okay? So you can kind of already visualize where we would go with images and what we'd call, you know, the brand that we started selling this with. It's just, it's a pretty good product that I found in 10 minutes. So that's it for 10 minute jackpot. Let me know down in the comments. Do you want to see more 10 minute jackpots? This video had some kind of crazy energy to it, right? So everything else got the X, didn't make the list walnut wood did so thanks for watching me be a goofball for 10 minutes um and thank you for subscribing i'll see you in the next video later